Hello everyone, I will be showing you what made playing Kingdom Hearts 2 such a fun game to play. I won't go into super details on why Kingdom Hearts 2 was such a fun game to play. It's just my thoughts and opinion. So with that being said, let's get into the video and I hope you all enjoy. What can I say about the awesome mechanics known as drive forms? Well, drive forms serve this purpose really well in Kingdom Hearts 2. Drive forms had some of the best combos I've ever seen in an action RPG game. Drive forms had some of their own unique attacks that enhanced Sora's combat, whether it be Valor, Master Form, etc. Drive forms allow Sora to gain abilities from any drive form that he is using so he can use that ability when he is no longer in that drive form, which I really enjoy about this game. Each drive form had various ways that Sora had to approach to level them up. Valor form gaining XP per hit, Wisdom gaining XP from defeating a Heartless, and Limit form gaining XP from using limits. It makes you wonder how they're going to approach Keyblade transformations in Kingdom Hearts 3. Only one can tell. Next we have the combo modifiers. What are combo modifiers? Combo modifiers enhance Sora's combat which makes Sora's combat even better than his standard combat. Throughout the course of the game, Sora will learn attacks that will better Sora's fighting style known as action abilities. These action abilities will upgrade Sora's fighting style to where he can use abilities like Slide Dash, Aerial Finish, and my all time favorite ability, Magnus Splash. It makes me wonder how Sora will learn his new combos modifiers from Kingdom Hearts 3. Will Sora gain his new abilities from Keyblade transformations throughout the game? Or will Sora learn them from bonus level similar to Kingdom Hearts 2? Either way, I can't wait to see how each combo modifier performs in Kingdom Hearts 3. The limits are no stranger to the series. The way Kingdom Hearts 2 approached using limits was a fine idea. No longer does Sora solo limit in this game except for when he is alone. Now Sora can team up with his friends to use their limits which they can use in tight situations. For example, if you're low on health and you feel like you're not going to dodge a certain attack correctly, well you can use each limit to ride out attack because for every limit that is used grants Sora invincibility frames for as long as the gauge is on the right top screen. Let's hope that Kingdom Hearts 3 limits will have the same effect similar to KH2 limits. I have seen some gameplay videos that had me scratching my head due to the fact that Sora took damage during a limit which should not have me in fear of using the limits due to this issue. Now one of the reasons I really enjoyed playing Case 2 were because of the variety you had when using your combos. There were so many ways you could attack in your own unique way. Remember when we only had this combo to work with in Kingdom Hearts? Now let's look at what Kingdom Hearts 2 combos had to offer shall we? See now this right here added more style and freedom to come up with some pretty cool combos of your own which really made playing Kingdom Hearts 2 such a fun game to play. I hope to see this kind of variety in Kingdom Hearts 3 once the game has released. Now here is another reason why I enjoy Kingdom Hearts 2. Kingdom Hearts 2 allowed for some of the most creative chances which I have been doing for quite some time. There are so many creative ways you can play this game, either it be a no ability run, a drop form only challenge run, no damage challenge, heck even a no jump run is possible. Kingdom Hearts 2 has so many creative ways you can play this game which I really admire. Kingdom Hearts 2 has so many creative ways you could play this game that you could mod this game with the use of the emulator. 
Here's to hope we can come up with creative challenges like this in Kingdom Hearts 3 once we beat the game so we can create new and fun memories in Kingdom Hearts 3. I really enjoyed coming up with these challenges for Kingdom Hearts 2. I don't even have to explain why Reaction Commands make Kingdom Hearts 2 such a great game to play. So instead, I will show you montages of K's 2 Reaction Commands. Lastly, my most favorite part about Kingdom Hearts 2 were the super bosses. It allowed for the player to test out their quick wit and use everything they learned from the entire game up against the toughest bosses. Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix definitely fits into this category for its super bosses. Kingdom Hearts 2 had a variety of super bosses like Sephiroth and some of the extra that was added into the Final Mix including Terra and the data battles of the Garden of Assemblies which can only be found through the minds of the Cameras of Remembrance. I would really like Kingdom Hearts 3 to have way more super bosses to face. I would also like them to be refightable as well. If we get way more super bosses and be able to refight them more than once will make Cage 3 even better. Not to say Cage 3 isn't good, but just my thought is all, a guy can dream. Well, there you have it. My reason to why Kingdom Hearts 2 was and still to this very day a fun game to play. Will Kingdom Hearts 3 live up to what Kingdom Hearts 2 had to offer? Hey, we'll just have to wait and see once Kingdom Hearts 3 has released. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video and as always, thanks for watching.